Hey guys, Joe Cool here. Welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Monster. Rawr! <laughs> I don't know, I think that just sounds funny. Um, but yeah, so today I want to talk a little bit about... Um, I'm not that guy. Okay, so we'll get rid of that guy. It's in the way. Nice and quiet. Do you hear the quietness? Um, what I did is I put a saturation crystal right there so that when I want saturation, you know, when you're running around um, your area and you kind of want, you know, you don't want to worry about food or nothing. And I didn't want to hear the constant clickety click of the crystal going. So I put it over here where it'd be nice and quiet and then I'd get saturation. But as you can see, the corner, we got some fun stuff over here. Um, oh, you know what? I forgot to make. Okay. So um, this is the typesetting table and a printing press. Now, do I have any? I'm going to have to uh, let's see here. Um, well, let's, let's look up. No, we'll start. We'll begin at the beginning. Let's see. Let me see if I can find a book here. So I'm looking for an enchanted book. Book, 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 book. I don't have any enchanted books. You know what? I think I have one. Um, let's see. Where was it at? Let me... I'm totally prepared today. <laughs> uh, let's see. It was over there. Uh, let's see. So, yeah. So, we want to go over the, the typesetting table and um, the printing press. And the big gap in the wall over there. Okay, so over here I thought I had some books. Um, oh, and um, update coming. They took out um, better storage, so be sure to remove um, your... I have no clue what Spider-Man is. I've never seen it, but we'll make a book of it because it sounds funny. Um, but yeah, better storage. So if you have any better storage containers, uh, be sure to get all your stuff out of there because I'm not sure how that's going to affect your... Um, um, the items that are contained within it so um, I'd, I'd highly recommend uh, look at all that oh hey well that's all dark I haven't done much that one's not really connected to anything goes over there lots of cool stuff oh, a ravine over there okay um, so type setting table Oh, let me know what you think of my place. I think it's cool. It's all the little scribblies around it. <laughs> oh, something, something interesting. Um, so you need this. Back here, there's a, um, uh, what is this? A printing press, printing press chase. Say that three times fast. Um, that goes back here. Um, over here, I, I did a little... Um, uh, set up a work table for that way you can just chuck the items in and you can just click on them and you don't have to do a lot of um, figuring out um, so you'll put your book um, right here oh the other thing I need to make is a disenchanting t table they call it um, so in order to get this from here to here into the plate you need um, a certain number of levels and I don't know how many levels that is and that's where you make a fun toy um, I thought it was on there did I spell it wrong? on uh, C C L E monocle is it M-O-N-Y? No. Silly. There it is. Do I not know how to spell it? Mono. <laughs> Mono. Single. <laughs> okay, so uh, some gold nuggets and a glass pane. That's easy enough to make. Um, let's see. I should have some glass panes around here somewhere. Or not. Grab one of these. Did someone see a blue 
a, a water vial pop into there. And four nuggets. Something like this guy in here. Something's... My FPS is really low. Oh, you know what? A lot of stuff probably isn't loaded around here, so it's still loading. Okay, so we've got a monocle. And um, that's part of Bibliocraft. Let's go over here. Let's get rid of that. Um, so what we need to do, so looking at it, you don't see anything, blah, blah, blah. Um, you need to put this guy on. And now you can see, you can kind of barely see. So you see Spider-Man 1 there, and up top says requires 40 levels. Oh, wow. That's a high one. Okay, so you can come over here and you go. No, oh, wrong one. No. <laughs> too far, too far. Mayday, mayday. Okay, so then uh, you go ahead and click on that guy. And you end up with. Oh, no, you don't click on that guy. You click on the guy back there. No. Click there. I have 40 levels. Select a book. I selected a book. Please. Select a book. I thought you just click on it. Maybe I can't do Spider-Man. Maybe I won't copy Spider-Man. Let me see. Okay, give me a minute. Let me see if I can find another um, enchanting book. All right, be right back. I can make one. So let's do. Um, let's see. I got some books in here. Let's see. Let me just toss a book in here. Why? Oh, you know what? Um, let's see. Auto reject? No. Auto extract? No. No! I thought those books would work. They work on a normal enchanting table. Well, um, hold on, let me, I'll be right back and try to figure this out. Alright, see you in a sec. Alright, so, I think I figured it out. The auto-enchanting table doesn't like the chisel books. The normal enchanting table is fine with it, and I didn't have any problem using the normal enchanting table, but it would appear that the auto enchanting table does not like the books. So what I did to test that is um, I moved it down to level 9 and I got a book. I didn't get a book. And then when I moved it to down to 8, which is the normal level you get on an enchantment table, um, you get... Um, it pops over. So you can still use the enchant the you know there's nothing you really need to do you just have to um, put the right bookshelves down so I'll have to fix those later um, but for now let's play with the copier with a protection one book because it'll be funny um, all right, let's put all this XP back because um, I don't think I'm gonna need that much because I'm going to I'm using a level 8 book which will probably be pretty low so let's put this guy here yeah 19 levels okay so we'll go down to 19 <coughs> shouldn't take too long almost there stay on target there 19 okay so do we click here no Where do we? Okay, I'm gonna have to figure this out. I thought you just clicked on it. I didn't realize there's something else you have to do. Okay, I'll be right back. 
using the things you find. Okay, it's a shift right click. Um, shift right click on the book and it pops it over to the chase. Now you get a type setting. Um, now you have an enchanted plate. Now the enchanted plate kind of goes down there. And then you need some ink up there. So let's go get some ink. No, this is not my first time doing this. <laughs> um, let us use, let's, let's see if this black tree dial will work. Um, this I should be able to put up there. So probably not. I'll have to use, um, I'll have to get some, uh, I could get a unifier and run all this stuff through a unifier and get it all turned into to Minecraft compatible components. And there she goes. And you put a bunch of books here, so uh, as you can see, 64 books. So this thing's going, so it'll print one, and you gotta pick it up. It's kinda like how pr press works, puts another piece of, so the roller rolls up here, um, if you look at a normal printing press, um, it'll roll the ink from up here, and then it comes down, and here's your, well there's your plate, and it puts ink on the plate and then here's your paper and the paper slides up here and when it comes together it'll print it and then it'll shift a new piece of paper in there it's actually an ingenious design um, if you ever look up the history of uh, um, uh, the printing press and um, yeah I thought it was pretty neat so now we've made three books out of one that should say see it says 61 books now um, I need to get a armor stand because I want to put the um, the goggles up here and the next thing I'm going to need to do is change out the books down there but so now I have three books of protection one and can you imagine what I'm going to do to one of them or two of them anyway <laughs> so prop one prop one um, Auto extract. Can't combine books. Auto extract. No. What is the deal? Can you not? Oh, jeez. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> um. Here's a piece. Of, oh no. Here's a piece of leather armor. And then there's. There we go. We now have a protection one leather tunic. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's kind of the, the general makeup. And then you can go back over here and I need another printing press. Chase. And I have no clue what... Um, Sp Spider-Man 1 is apparently a level 40 book? Yeah, it's a level 40 book. Um, should I put it on something to try it out? Let's go find let's go find a piece of armor to put it on. We will let's go ahead and copy it. Let's get it copying. So let's go 40 levels. Forty there. Okay. So shift, right click. Okay, there we go. So we've got our that guy. Now back there we should have so I put in eight, so I used three, so I have five inks left. So now we put that down there, and there we go. So let's go grab another piece of armor. Um, I'm not sure what piece this goes on. Hey, look, some steel boots. I will put them on steel boots. Because that sounds funny. Um, I have not found any... Um, um, hopefully that picked that up somewhere. Spider-Man? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So I'm not sure what actually Spider-Man does. Well, <laughs> I know he climbs walls, uh, but I'm guessing... Oh, man! I guess it doesn't recognize Spider-Man as an enchantment. 
Why does her... Maybe it's not a boot enchantment? Where would you... I mean, how could you not put Spider-Man on your boots, right? Is it a chest enchantment? No. I wonder what kind of... What the heck, man? I wonder what... I'm not sure what that is. Um, let's see. I need a chest in here, apparently. Um... What would be a good place to put a chest? Can... No. I was thinking we could put it under there, but apparently not. Huh. So I'll have to find a place to put a chest. It's kind of tight quarters in here. You know, I, you, you start off and like, hey, this is a great idea. Let's do this. This will look really cool. And like, yeah, I only need this thing, and I only need this thing, and then I can put this in the floor so we have all the stuff around it, and I wonder. Um, let's see. Let's get rid of some of this stuff, because I really don't want to, well, let's see, I don't want to lose that, so let's get rid of that seed. And then, um, I'm wondering if that actual glass was preventing, let's see, let's put that up, and then, let's see, let's grab a book, um, I'll put those there. It might even actually be the glass, that'd be amazing. It would suck, but it'd be amazing. <laughs> uh, let's see, 30? Okay. Sonic the Hedgehog? What? Okay, so yeah, you can use those, but apparently you can't have glass above them. Socks. Um. Okay, so, um. Lame. Might have to reevaluate this room. Well, we can all do the whole thing from right here, but. I don't want to get bombarded by like things over there, but I can access most of the stuff. <laughs> um, maybe I can put um, a cover, like some covers, on like that side and maybe this side, and um, maybe just the middle. Yeah, I think I can do that. So let's. Um, Let's go get rid of some of this stuff I got in here. So, we have string, feathers, bones. Um, what do I get? What do I have? Another quartz. Okay, so let's get rid of this, this, this. Let's put this die back because we don't need that die. We need this die. Um, Let's see. So I think I have this guy in here. Yep. So let's do this guy. So I put here. We only need one of those. Okay, so we need this guy and that guy. So let's get rid of that. Um, about time to sleep here pretty soon. Um, so yeah, so that kind of sucks. Oh, I dropped my thing. Did I pick it up? Yeah. That's the nice thing about this coin of fortune. Um, you don't, um, you don't really drop anything. It's also the bad thing. You know, some things have good things and bad things. This has a little bit of both. And you're trying to get rid of something. As you see, I, I go stand on that tree over there and then I put it in the crafting table and then I just kind of chuck stuff down and then that way it falls all the way down and it's not within range of me picking it up so that when I put it back in my inventory it doesn't do that <laughs> okay so what we can do is let us let us do that guy so this is gonna be kinda weird it's not the way I want to do it. 
So I think they need to fix these. Okay, so then we can put this cover guy right there. So that'll work. Sonic the Hedgehog. That's too funny. Let's put these boots in there. Protection Force Steel Boots! Woohoo! Not going to be using them anytime soon, but. Um, so, yeah, I think that'll work. It's manageable. So, yeah, I don't have to change anything. Okay, so, uh, change plans. These things actually do work for here. You just have to have them opened on both the bottom space and the top space. I thought as long as it had line of sight for one, um, it'd be okay, but apparently not. It's like Christmas, except more me. <laughs> some Iron Man fans. Okay, so, um... I've got some other stuff I need to work on, so I'm going to go get stuff going, and I'll be back in a minute. All right, we are back. Um, not much else I can go over today without starting big projects and having to finish them next episode. Um, I need a lot of resource gathering, so that's going to take a lot of time. So one of the things I did is I set up a um, lava power generation. You know, put in four, five uh, magmatic dynamos with some lava going into it. This is actually interesting. I did not know um, this would actually do this. But, um, so I guess, you know, I thought blue was water, red was lava. So when I want to use lava, it wouldn't make, st it's kind of stupid, I know. But <laughs> if I wanted lava, but there are a bunch of other fluids that go in there. But apparently, it's like the other things in the other um, in the other expansion is you have input output um, well blue is input red is output if you have it set to red it actually auto ejects I don't know if it's it'll do it to the side I haven't tested it and I'm not really willing to do that right now <laughs> sorry if you want to play with it, fine. But if you set it to red, it actually doesn't need anything. It'll output it to um, an adjacent, or at least the bottom fluid duct. Um, not sure of the rest of them. But I thought that was kind of cool. And then, um, yeah, I've got hard energy circuits. These are um, 400 RF per tick, and I'm delivering uh, 5 times 80 is 400. So I so got that maxed out. Um, up here I've got a hardened energy cell, so I've got 2 million RF. I'm just sitting there doing nothing. But what I plan on doing is um, I want to get some gates going um, because I want to... I'd like to do... I think it'd be kind of neat. Um, I think I saw... Oh, I saw one of the hermit crafters do it. Um, I think it was Hypno. But they set up a... Um, um, a steam boiler and fed that into um, steam dynamos um, I tried that before and I couldn't get that to work um, but I guess it's actually fixed and working now I tried all kinds of all kinds of things to feed steam and the the different dynamos and whatnot but I was having issues but um, it looks like that's at least fixed if nothing else so I think that'd be kind of fun to do um, a steam. No, you know what? I think it was Direwolf that was doing it, but he's doing a solid, um, a solid one, and I want to get a uh, a fluid one going, and to use um, um, ethanol to create steam for the steam dynamos. And the other thing I could do is um, a steam turbine. Um, this guy here, um, this guy produces, actually, I'm not sure what it's going to produce on, on this version of, um, of IC2, but in other versions, it was like 200 EU per tick. So I think that'd be pretty cool if we got, um, 
So we could set up a tree farm with MFR and um, what I'll, I have a, a neat idea to do that. So I'm going to set that up. Um, that's one of the things I'm going to work on. So let's do, let's check this out. Check this out. Look what I got going on. So I am not organized because I forgot where it was. Um, let's, okay, so I made a clipboard. And these are the things that I'm going to be working on. That's going to be my front page. Now these ones back here, as I complete them, I'm just going to leave them there um, because it's a pain to actually delete them all. But um, the things that I'll be working on, the main things. So um, the enchanting room is almost done. I want to fill out um, the XP crystals. I want to get a lot more XP crystals. Um, mining age, I need to go uh, searching for pages because I need to get, I think I've got some um, mushroom biome. As long as I, if I get like either a desert or um, the biggest thing I need is, is uh, single age. That's the main thing that I need. And um, I had normal, I think I had normal sun or maybe I had normal something else and I got, I got trash. So if you don't have, um, I don't know if you've seen that, but if you don't have any books in your, um, what is it called? Writing desk. Yeah, so if you don't have any books in your writing desk, don't put anything in here. I put some pages in there and they just kind of went poof. I forgot that I didn't have any notebooks in there yet. Usually isn't a problem, but, you know, absent-minded professor, yeah. Okay, uh, so a blacksmith, this I think is really cool. Um, you know what? I, am I going senile? Did I go over this already? Um, some ideas for a blacksmith. Um, infusion room, I need to do some research to actually get that started. Now the bush farms I'm referring to are um, these guys. Well, let me point to these guys. Where are they at? They're right up here. Um, these guys. So I'm going to use the harvester to harvest all the berries and I'm essentially going to put it into a room where no mobs will spawn as well as um, it being complete darkness. So that'll be cool. Alright guys, um, so the next thing, oh yeah, I wanted to add, let's see, let's go back to the beginning. I may have to delete some of those um, other I'll figure something out. I'll figure something out because finishing one, not finishing another, and then it's going to be out of, all out of order and all kinds of craziness. What is that? 22 six? Oh. <laughs> ah, I'm looking off to the side. I'm like, what is that? 22, 64, 20. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, I am saying honest. Um, Oh, we wanted to add a um, steam turbine. No, steam boiler. And what that's going to entail, steam boiler. We want a liquid fuel firebox. Ah, well. I want a high pressure boiler, uh, liquid filled fire box. Um, steam, steam dynamos, um, steam turbine. We will need some tesseracts. Uh, move the energy around uh, from the steam dynamos and such. Um, oh, and we wanted to use. Um, so we'll need a MF, MFR tree farm for steam boiler.
because that's going to be required for that. So we're going to do um, um, biomass. Is it a fermenter? I think so. It's still. And the thing with the tree farm, so what I want to do is I'll probably end up having to start a um, oh, and I need a so this is the thing I need. I need a um, this is the next thing I need to work on because I'm going to need applied energistics. So I need an assembly table um, to make the stuff for applied energistics. And what I'm going to do with the applied energistics is based on how many saplings versus, I might just do saplings. So much to do. <laughs> okay. Getting too far ahead of myself. There's all kinds of stuff that I want to do. We may not do a steam boiler next. Um, I'll see what I can figure out and I'll organize it all. And what those are a bunch of ideas of things that I want to do. Um, I think this to-do list is too short. I need like two pages for the to-do list. <laughs> okay, guys. Thanks for stopping by. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like. Uh, please comment and share as you see fit. Um, all these things, you know, just... Just give me a hand, you know. Let me know what I'm doing. Leave a comment. All right, guys. Take care. Have a good one.